teachers, welcome back to my channel. We talk everything special education. So if that interests you, make sure you click the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Today we are going to be talking about a bunch of different activities that you can use when you are teaching your students elapsed time. All of the activities I'm going to be talking about today are linked in the description of this YouTube video, or you can grab them in my Teachers Pay Teachers store, which is named Activa Teacher. All of the activities are leveled. For the most part, I'm going to be showing you elapsed time to the minute activities, but I also have elapsed time activities that are elapsed time to the hour, half hour, five minutes, and minutes. Four different levels. If you are a special education teacher, comment below and let me know. Let's get into it. The first activity I'm going to be talking about is a dice game. You will have students get two dice and the students will roll the dice and add up the numbers on the two dice. And let's say that they get a nine for their first one. Their first clock that they'll be looking at happens to be nine o'clock. So then the students will roll the dice again. And let's say they get a two. The clock is two thirds. So the students will figure out the difference in time from 2.30 to 9 o'clock. And then the next student will go. So they just keep taking turns to practice their elapsed time skills. The next activity is task cards. I absolutely love task cards, but if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I love to make task cards as an around the classroom scavenger hunt. So I will tape these around the classroom and have students fill out this recording sheet right here as they go. It's a fun way to get your students up and moving and out of their seats. The next activity that I have is a cut and paste activity. Students will figure out the elapsed time and then they will cut and paste the answer into the correct box. My students love cut and paste and so do I because it keeps the students engaged and it practices their fine motor skills of using scissors and glue. The next one is a fun game. This is actually tic-tac-toe. You will pair up students, then students will solve the elapsed time, write their answer here, and then they will use these X's and O's to cover up their answers. This is a fun one that also incorporates social skills since your students will be working with a partner. Then I have matching worksheets. I like to have students complete these on the smart board to make it a little bit more engaging. Students will come up, figure out the elapsed time, and then draw a line to the correct answer. The last worksheet I have is a packet, and this is just a fill in the blank worksheet. I there are three activities left. This might be my favorite. So this is an elapsed time drag and drop activity. So students will drag and drop the green oval here to the correct answer and then the X over the incorrect answer. Here's the next slide. Students will put in the elapsed time up here by dragging and dropping. And then we have a true or false activity. And this elapsed time happens to be seven hours, so it is correct. And then we have one more drag and drop the answers activity. So again, they will drag and drop the elapsed time right here. The next activity is an elapsed time this or that game. To get your students up and moving, you'll have students stand up and go to the side of the room that matches the correct answer. So students will figure out the elapsed time here and then they will go to the correct side of the room. And I'll just flip through here so you can see some of our other clock options. The last activity that I have for you is a kaboom game. Who doesn't love kaboom? You will make two to four teams of students taking turns. Each team will choose a number. Students will click the number and the slide will either have a math problem or a kaboom. If the team gets a kaboom, they lose their turn. If the team solves the math problem correctly, they get a point, and if they get it wrong, they do not receive a point. All right, so here's our first one. Students will solve it, and if they're correct, they get a point. If they are incorrect, they do not get a point. And here is the kaboom, so the students will lose their turn if they get a kaboom. And there you have it. I hope you like these activities. And again, you can get the link to any of these activities in the description of this YouTube video or in my TPT shop, Activa Teacher. If you learned something new or liked these activities, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, happy teaching.